வணக்கம் தி மஸ்ட் நோ சீரீஸ் சிம்பிளிஃபைங் லேர்னிங் நர்வ் இன்ஜுரி கிளாசிஃபிகேஷன் பேசிக்ஸ் வி ஹவ் ஹேர்ட் ஆஃப் நியூரோப்ராக்சியா நியூரோட்மேசிஸ் அண்ட் நெக்ஸனாட்மேசிஸ் வாட் ஆர் தே அண்ட் வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் ஆஃப்டர் ஈச் ஆஃப் தீஸ் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் நர்வ் இன்ஜுரிஸ் ஹவு இஸ் த ரிகவரி த பேசிக் கிளாசிஃபிகேட் சிஸ்டம் வாஸ் ப்ரப்போஸ் பை செடுல் ஹி ஸ்போக் அபவுட் த்ரீ டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் நர்வ் இன்ஜுரி நியூரோப்ராக்சியா axonotmesis and neurotmesis sunderland proposed a, another classification where he divided nerve injury into five types later beckinen and dellen added the sixth type we shall try to understand the sunderland classification with a schematic diagram to show the different layers that ultimately cover the axon starting from the endoneurium the perineurium and the epineurium the grade 1 sunderland injury signifies a localized conduction block as represented here this corresponds to neuropraxia in the sedan scheme what is indicated in this type of injury is a conservative management and spontaneous recovery is expected over weeks to months the grade 2 injury in this classification system represents damage to some axons so the damage is to the axon only and since the axon is damaged there is a distal valerian degeneration that occurs this grade corresponds to the axonotmesis of the sedan classification the treatment is conservative but the regeneration of axons can be followed clinically by an advancing tunnel sign complete recovery can be expected over months grade 3 sunderland classification of nerve injury refers to injury to the axon and the endoneural sheath the perineurium and connective tissue layers outside of this remain intact and most of these injuries usually recover spontaneously but it is unpredictable and only partial recovery may occur so the characteristic of the grade 4 sunderland classification is the damage to the perineurium along with the endoneurium and the axon the perineurium is important since it represents the extension of the blood brain barrier the epineurium remains however and scarring replaces the existing structures scar blocks all the neuronal regeneration there is no recovery likely without operative management grade of complete nerve transection indicates injury to the axon the endoneurium the perineurium and the epineurium which have been disrupted and no recovery can be expected without operative management when there is a nerve injury it may not fit under exactly one of the different grades proposed by sunderland so the grade showing a mixed lesion was proposed by mckinnon and dellen this represents multiple areas of the nerve showing different grades of injury what is the clinical significance of these classifications the first is tunnel sign it is not seen in neuropraxia or sunderland type 1 it is seen definitely in all the other grades that is sunderland type 2 3 4 5 and variably in type 6 or sedan's classification of axonotmesis and neurotmesis tunnel sign will show that it is not neuropraxia as far as recovery potential is concerned it is full for neuropraxia and axonotmesis it is usually slow or incomplete in sunderland type 3 poor or none in type 4 and type 5 sunderland classification and variable in type 6 the rate of recovery is few days to 3 months in neuropraxia but in axonotmesis it regenerates at 1 mm per day in all the other types when surgical repair has been done the regeneration is at 1 mm per day 